welcome back to my channel so today I want to create a casual look for you guys very springtime you know <laughs> just kidding <laughs> this look was inspired by the zodiac sign Aries since it is currently Aries season so all of my Aries friends out there this is for you guys this is the fourth look in my zodiac horoscope birth signs series <laughs> I will link the other Zodiac videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you guys are checking out those videos, you might as well subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is completely free, just in case you didn't know. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really wanted this look to look very intense and fiery and, you know, a lot like the Zodiac sign. So that's why everything is very, like, sharp and not too blended out that's why I like the contour is just like you know like it could pierce you and the eyes mm. and this um you might see at first I have gold gems laid down first but I don't know it really didn't go with the look and you couldn't really see it all that well so I replaced it with red and these are just nail decals like nail not nail decals nail gems I guess that I got on Amazon a long time ago. So I finally found a use for them. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So first, I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with this Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm going to set that down with this Wet n Wild single eyeshadow called Creme Brulee. Next, I'm going to jump into the very famous original Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to take this peachy orange shade and buff it into the crease as my transition shade. Then to darken the crease a little more, I went in with this medium orange shade. Now, using a more precise brush, I applied this bright orange shade in the crease and I concentrated most of it in the outer corner. Then to darken the outer corner and define the crease a little bit more, I applied this brown shade. Next, I applied this metallic bor burnt, <laughs> burnt orange shade all over the lids. To create more definition in the eyes, I mixed these two brown shades and I applied it into the crease with a tiny crease brush and I'm also flicking this color out into a wing shape. And I also brought the shadow into my inner corners and created a curved crescent moon shape. I really wanted a bright red color but I had to work with what I got so I mixed together red ochre and burnt orange from the Modern Renaissance palette and I applied that right above the crease. It still wasn't red enough, so I tried to use saffron from my Desert Dust palette, but they were pretty much the same color. But if you do have a red color in your collection, like a bright red, then definitely use that. For the bottom lashes, I went back in with saffron, and then I mixed a few of the dark brown shades from the 35O palette, and I smudged that into the outer bottom lash line. And as you can see, I kind of also used that brown to connect the bottom lash line to the top lid. To avoid any super harsh edges, I just took a clean fluffy brush and blended right above the crease. Then to lift the brows a little, I applied this cream shade to my brow bone. To fill in my brows, I just mixed these two brown shades with reddish undertones and I dragged the end of my brows to the same length as my eyeshadow wing. I then created a wing using my NYX Vinyl Liquid Eyeliner. Next, I used this NYX Très Jolie Black Liner for my tight line and waterline. Here, I'm just using a makeup wipe to wipe out any fallout and sharpen my makeup a little bit. Then, I just curled my lashes and applied this tight, tight, oh my gosh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Cannot speak today. Moving on to the face, I applied this Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizing Primer. And for foundation, I mixed together the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation in Warm Beige and the Becca Shimmering Liquid Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. As always, for concealer, I'm using my trusty Tarte Shape Tape 
in light medium honey. And then I'm setting everything down with this Physician's Formula Cover Tox 10 face powder. To contour my face, I'm using this IBY Beauty Highlight and Contour Palette. I wanted the skin to be a little bit more bronzy, so I applied some of this Wet n Wild and Fergie Highlighter in Rose Golden Goddess. To sharpen my contour, I decided to bake my face just so I can achieve that really intense look. For blush, I'm using this shimmer bronzer called Flush by Hikari. And for highlight, I went in with the Ofra Cosmetics and Dupe That highlighter called You Do You. I also just quickly popped on some falsies for extra drama. These ones are from e.l.f. Moving on to the lips, I started off with this Essence lip liner called Red Blush. And then I topped it off with this Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream in Crush. Since the eyes were looking a little dull, I added some of the You Do You highlighter to my brow bone. Then I just set my face with this Project Beauty setting spray and let all of the makeup melt together. And of course, I can't do a look without a little bit of bling, so I took these red nail gems and I used some lash glue and applied them to create the symbol of Aries. I first mapped it out with this white pencil liner and then used that same liner to pick up the gemstones because those suckers are tricky. And since I didn't have an inner corner highlight, I added one gem in each inner corner. All right guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video. All right guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys un uncharge what? So thank you in advance for, for shit.